Hello, this is Tor from EdCon. Today we're going to try to clarify the confusion between diagrams, tools, software, and company names around root cause. But more importantly, we're going to try to show you what's important for your plant or mine. So let me try to explain what I mean. When we do our reliability and maintenance assessments in plants and mines, we typically ask the question or something similar to it, how do you eliminate problems in the plant? And the answer I get is often, we have Apollo, or we have um, 5Y, or we have Intellix, Kepner Trigo, we have Loose Sologic, Proact, histograms, cause and effect diagrams, all kinds of answers. All these answers are typically software, company names, and they're also names of diagrams, or in some cases, methodologies. But that doesn't mean that we have root cause. So what I wanted to do is try to classify these different elements in a more logical way and show you what I think is the most important for anyone trying to solve problems in an organized fashion. I want to clarify that I don't think there's anything wrong with these tools or methods necessarily. The problem is that we as managers sometimes think we have root cause because we bought a tool or we bought a software or we told the plant to use a diagram. And even if we do all these things, the most important part of root cause is often never discussed at all. And I'll come to what I think that is. So what you need in your organization is to be able to solve problems in an organized fashion. So if we disregard all the company names and softwares and so forth, let's look at what you actually need. First of all, uh, one thing that you need is some type of problem solving method that you can agree on. It's not as important if you solve problems individually, but as soon as you get to be more than one person, you have to have an agreed upon method on how to actually solve problems. Um, so that problem solving method could be something like we first write a problem statement and after that we collect some basic information and after that what we do is we list some possible causes and then we evaluate those causes depending on the facts that we have or collect more facts. From that we get possible solutions and from the possible solutions we can then eliminate the problems. That could be an example of a problem solving method that you use. You also need some type of documentation method I believe. It's going to help you. Um, it's maybe not as important as some other things, but it is very important to have a documentation method and decide how you're going to document the progress because some root causes can be very, very complex. So you need a way to kind of put this together somehow. You also need a company work process, deciding when to solve a problem, how to organize the data, where to put them electronically, how to reuse some of these root causes when you come into similar problems, etc. That's a work process. And the most important part that is often never mentioned is the thinking process. And that's what this series is going to be about, the thinking tools we can use in root cause. Because if you organize these things in four different categories, I believe that the thinking process is the heart of root cause. It's creative thinking, it's critical thinking. You could argue that root cause is just another form of creative and critical thinking, really. So the heart of it is the thinking process. The next thing we need is some type of problem solving method, some type of process that we can follow when we do this. And the third thing we need is to organize the data somehow in some type of documentation method. And a note about the documentation method, the documentation methods are typically very similar. If it's a tree, if it's an Apollo, if it's a taproot, if it is a cause and effect, all those five Y, all those that I just mentioned, all those five are the same thing. It's just a cause and effect diagram. I personally don't like the fishbone because I think it does not have a cause and effect relationship. The fishbone is simply just a brainstorming tool, I should say. So the heart of it is thinking, then we need some type of problem solving method, then we need documentation method, like I said, and then of course, on top of all that, we need to have a, a way to manage this big process for the whole plant. So think about if you have the thinking processes established in your plant, then if you train people in the actual thinking processes of how to do root cause. If not, please watch some more of these video series and we'll take a thinking method one by one as we go along here. Thank you.